Flash Muscle Butt. Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another NECA Toys action figure review on the NECA Toys Toys R Us exclusive DC Comics collectible 7-inch Christopher Reeve Superman. If you're trying to pick up this figure, it is available now at Toys R Us. It's a Toys R Us exclusive, you can get it at Toys R Us. I gotta give a big thanks to NECA Toys for making this review possible though. If you want to see the latest from them, be sure to check the links below. Really nice packaging over here. I love the Fortress of Solitude. Nice window box with the figure, doing a nice little uh, hippie dance thing right there in the box. I have a little fun over there. And on the side you can see the Fortress of Solitude, and then on the back you can see we get a read-up. If you want to read it, pause it now, and there's a figure looking really nice. More Fortress of Solitude. Not much more at the top or at the bottom. Alright, let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's Superman up on the Mafex stand and out of the packaging. I gotta say, I love this figure. This is a great piece. NECA did a fantastic job with this one. I love the cloth cape over there. We get some really good articulation. We get a pair of interchangeable hands where he does have the flat wide open flying hands as you can see right here. We'll see that a little bit closer to later on. The head sculpt is dead on Christopher Reeve. I really love it. So anyway, let's take a closer look at this guy. So come on, man. How could you disagree about this looking dead on Christopher Reeve right here? Look at that. That is stunning. Looks great. I'm very, very happy with this. The eyes came out looking really good. Just the bone structure and everything. I really like the flesh tone. The hair has got this nice glossy black to it. Gets just a little bit hairy behind the ear, but it doesn't, you know, that's not enough for me to complain, really. I'm still really pleased with this. Same thing with that side over there. Wow, uh, I just think that looks really good. And I gotta say, I just absolutely love this cloth cape over here. I love, I think that was just a great move. Uh, it's nice, thick material, not super thin, you know? And of course, we get the yellow Superman emblem right there on the back. Really dig that. Now looking over here at the Superman logo on the chest, I think the paint came out looking okay. It's just a tiny little bit of bleeding right there. Now there is this sculpted line work throughout the figure, which you can kind of see as I turn the settings down. Uh, it's not too prominent. I don't really like it that much, but it's not enough to really bother me. So it's subtle enough where it doesn't really get in the way. What I think they're going for is making it look like it was, you know, spandex or fabric or something like that. But, you know, I think it looks all right. And the paint looks really good on the shorts right there. And that's made out of a soft material, so you can still bend everything around. And so is the torso, too. This is all squishy right here. And it feels like there's a joint in there, but I don't know. It kind of moves inside there. It's kind of tricky to tell whether I'm bending something on the inside or if it's just this waist joint actually crunching right there. You can see that we get some paint chipping right there on that wrist joint. And we do get these interchangeable flying hands, which I'm not going to articulate. I'm not going to bend these up and down because I don't want the paint to chip out of those and I'm not really going to need to bend them up and down because they're already in like a flying pose ready position and of course we do have them for both hands right there so you can see those all right double thumbs up hey but anyway going back to this right over here looking at the boots the paint does get a little sketchy right there but looking at the boots overall I like them really nice paint apps they even got all the seams right over here Really nice looking figure just all the way through. We do get peg holes at the bottom of the feet. And then there's Christopher Reeve butt and looking at the arms right there look really good too. Now when I first opened this, the joints were a bit on the stiff side so I used a hair dryer to heat things up and that just made it a lot easier posing this figure around, especially with this head joint over here. After heating it up, you can get his head looking up pretty far. So you can get the flying poses, you can move his head very far downward. You get side to side movement over here and we do get a lot of neck pivot. We get shoulder joints that move outward just that much and he can move forward as well. I do wish there was a bicep swivel over there. He does bend at the elbow though and you do get rotation right there. You get rotation at the wrist and they hinge up and down as I already explained. You do get a waist joint and that does crunch forward and it does crunch back and you do get some waist pivot as we saw in the packaging. Then the hip joints move outward very far. That's pretty incredible. I like that. And the plastic doesn't look too bad right there in the joints. You can't get them kicking very far. can move back some. Get a little bit of rotation right over here. You get a knee bend at 90 degrees and then you do get the and you can rotate the knee too. You also get the ankles that don't move down as much as I'd like them to. Uh, yeah, you can get the ankle to move down just only a little bit. Moves up some too and you do get ankle pivot. Now this is a 7 inch scale figure and this Superman is standing just a little over 7 inches tall. Then for your Christopher Reeve comparison, here's the NECA Toys Christopher Reeve Superman compared to the Hot Toys Christopher Reeve Superman. Thank you so much, Sean Long. I really like both of these figures a lot, especially for the price point on this 
this guy. It's very impressive. And here's a Superman compared to the other TRU exclusive DC action figures. We have the Adam West Batman and we have the Heath Ledger Joker. All three of these are great figures. And then here he is next to the Michael Keaton Batman from NECA Toys. Ah, Geek Spot is exploding right now. Thank you. Thank you so much NECA Toys for making this happen. This is my favorite cinematic Batman and this is my favorite cinematic Superman. And finally having two of these together in action figure form with a lot of articulation and just looking incredible. It just hits a geek spot too hard. I'm very, very happy about this. Thank you so much everybody from NECA for making this possible. The sculptors, all the people that went through the licensing crap with Warner Brothers, all that stuff. Thank you so much, man. I am so happy to finally have these two. Ah, yes, world's finest right there, man. Yes! And then here's a Christopher Reeve Superman next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Ooh, it's Superman! Oh, man, I always wish I could fly. Can we go for a ride, huh, Superman? Just like you and Lois Lane? That would be awesome! Can we do it? Ah! Then here's the Superman figure again with both of the open hands posed over here. Kind of has that table football vibe to it, but it does look really cool. I mean, you gotta be able to get Superman in this pose. I'm really digging it a lot, and I highly recommend this figure. If you see him in the store, go ahead and grab him. Anyway, I hope you guys liked my review. If you did, please hit the like button. Click any of these boxes right over here if you want more shart in your face. If you want to support this YouTube channel, please check out the Patreon account. Your help is very much needed and appreciated. If you want to follow channel updates, go to Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and don't forget to go to ToyNewsEye.com for the latest in action figure news. I'll catch you guys later. Peace! Posing action figures, 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 posing action